Here are 10 steps to betting on sports like a sharp. Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor. I've switched my sports betting strategy from casual betting on things emotionally to strictly mathematical, sharp, profitable processes, and it's completely exploded my profits. I made over $40,000 tracked on this picket in 2023. It was actually over 60,000 all in total, and it, it completely changed the way that I look at sports betting and my process, and so today I wanna go through 10 steps that can change your way of betting on sports to become more profitable so you can actually make money betting on sports. Before we get into the video, make sure you do like and subscribe because it helps our channel grow. Let's do it. First things first, remove emotions when betting on sports. Obviously, if you're doing this for fun and you wanna watch the game, I totally understand. You wanna bet on the side to get a little action on it, make the game more interesting. That makes sense. But we're talking about how to actually bet like a shark, right? How to make money and be profitable when you're betting on sports. If you have any emotion when you're betting on it, it completely skews the strategy, the process, and things that we'll get into in a little bit here, but you need to completely remove your emotions from it. Regardless, if you think if you think somebody's gonna go over their total tonight because you like that player, you like their matchup, whatever it might be, that eye test that you give it, you need to remove that because that doesn't matter when you're selecting a bet because of, of the odds or because of the line or the discrepancy between different books. And again, we'll get into all this, but first things first, your emotions, your opinions need to go out the door. Second step is you need to understand why the actual odds of a bet are the most important part when you're betting on sports. No longer can you focus on the player or the team or the line. You're looking at the actual odds because that's what dictates if you're profitable or not. And that's because that's what's actually being paid to you. Now we're talking about money, we're talking about percentages, talking about math. This is where you can actually start betting like a sharp sports better and somebody who's profitable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm sharing my screen on a software called Odds Jam, and this kind of allows you to understand why the odds are so important. So for instance, on this play here on Scotty Barnes player blocks, if we were to take his, if let's say we wanna take his under, right? And, and we're looking at the odds and we see a bunch of different sports books offering different pricing, right? Because sports books don't price the same bet at the same odds. It's different across all platforms, right? So if we're looking at this and, and, and we wanna take Scotty Barnes, if we were to bet him at plus 150, that would mean that we bet 100 bucks and we win 150 if it wins. However, if we were to take this bet on Bet Rivers at plus 180, we would win an extra $30 if we were to bet 100, right? So that means we're winning an extra 30 on top of what we would have won if we would have taken it at plus 150. So you can see that this 10, 15, 20% increase in your payout Imagine that you're hitting your bets at a 60% clip or a 55% or 50%, right? In that range, because at the end of the day, that's what most of us are gonna hit our bets at, where none of us are gonna hit 90% of our bets, right? But if we can increase our payout by 15% on every single bet that we make, you can imagine how much more profitable you're gonna be. Because if you're hitting 55% of your bets and you're taking the worst number on the board every time, well, you're not gonna be profitable. You're just not gonna make any money because you're not being paid out what you should be. However, if you learn to look at odds differently and you look at the odds as the most important part, that's when you can start making money because you can start looking for opportunities where, for instance, Bet Rivers is offering plus 180. Every other book is around, you know, plus 150. If we look at this, uh, if we look at another example down here, this Jaron Jackson play here, again, Bet Rivers is at plus 170. If we were to look at the sharpest sports books in the world where their odds are usually quite accurate to the actual percent chance for something to hit, like Pinnacle, right, or DraftKings, well, Pinnacle's at 145. DraftKings is also at 145. 365 is at 150. But Bet Rivers is at 170. And if we take bets where we're being paid out way more than we should be every single day, that's when you have an edge. That's when you're acting like a sharp sports better who's actually profitable. 
So now that we're looking at the odds, right? And we can see that on Odds Jam, a great platform, we can see all of these books, right? All these sports books are pricing things differently. And on some sports books, we're being paid more than on others, right? For, you know, for this example, this is on Bet Rivers, we're getting a good number. But down here on the Scotty Barnes prop, on points bet, we're getting him at minus 110. But on all these the sharp sports books like DraftKings, he's at minus 130, right? So being able to shop around and get as many opportunities as possible is super critical to be a sharp sports better. So step number three is to get access to as many sports books as you can. And obviously this opens up your opportunities for finding sharp bets, but it allows you to take advantage of sign up bonuses as well, where you basically get given money to bet on that platform, right? And if you're using that money smart and you're, you're placing profitable bets, that's just increasing your bankroll immediately. And, and this can really, I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you can make a good four, five, six thousand dollars just from sign up bonuses on all these books. So third step is get access to as many as you can. It depends on where you're located. We have a great sports betting guide. It's linked down below and this will tell you, you can go in there in chapter three, you can see depending on the state that you're in, what books you have, get those sign up bonuses, sign up for as many as you can. So it opens the door for as many plus EV sharp sports bets as you can find. Speaking of the guide, we're gonna go on to step number four, and this is actually in chapter three of our guide, and that is the sign up bonuses. Step number four, take advantage of these bonuses. Like I just mentioned, you get deposit bonuses, right? Where a bonus is given to bettors when they fund their account, and sometimes you can get bonus bets, and then you've got cash back bonuses. That's how DraftKings will do it, where basically you get 5% back from everything that you're betting up to $1,000. So they're basically giving you $1,000 in cash through a cash back program, right? And so these sports book bonuses build up your bankroll and make it so you can actually start betting with more money and become more profitable. All sharp sports bettors are utilizing these bonuses. Step five is utilizing a proper bankroll management strategy. We have tons of videos on this channel that go into depth on this. I'll keep it simple here. Firstly, you need to make sure that you're depositing on a sports book money that you are comfortable with losing. Obviously, as a sharp sports better, you're not losing money. However, you can be losing in a week or a couple weeks on end, right? At the end of the day, you need to be comfortable with not touching that money for at least six months. Assume that it's an investment, right? And so that's the first thing, only deposit what you're comfortable with losing, right? And then another one, avoid being overexposed to a specific player or a game, right? You don't wanna to put too much money on, on a specific game or a player in many different bets because if, if that player gets injured, if something happens in the game that's, you know, unforeseen and you would otherwise have lost one or two bets now you're losing four or five or six or seven bets and so you don't necessarily want to do that if you're going to increase the amount that you're betting on a game do it on on, on your bets do it gradually right and then the, the the other part is utilize a um you know a strategy a mathematically profitable strategy for your bankroll i recommend the kelly criterion we have a great video i'll link it up here um, and that, that will go over exactly what you need to know and how you can set your bankroll. So you're understanding, okay, if, if, if I'm told to put one unit on this, that's a hundred bucks for me, or that's 50 bucks for me, or whatever it might be. Uh, so you set a process that's mathematically profitable. And I mean, that's what all sharp sports bettors do. They have a great bankroll management. Step number six is becoming numb to the daily swings, sweating your bets, and, and worrying about losing two days in a row and, and all of that at the end of the day just takes time and energy from you and it really doesn't do anything for you. If you can look at this from a more of a macro zoomed out perspective, you can see that you're profitable over a month's period of time. But yeah, if you're looking day to day, you can definitely lose some days. If we look at my picket here, I'm profitable this month but I've definitely lost many days, right? At the end of the day though, we have mathematically profitable bets that like I said on step number one and two, we're being paid out much more than we should be, right? We're not taking emotional bets, we're taking mathematically profitable bets. 
We know that we're making money over the long term. So these day to day swings don't bother us anymore, right? Because it doesn't matter. It's all part of the game. Step number seven is understanding that more volume and more bets equals more profit. That doesn't necessarily mean to put to overexpose yourself and put so much money down every day to the point where if you have a really bad day, that's actually terrible for you, right? And, and you're really sweating it out. I'm talking about getting more volume, getting more bets down, because number one, that reduces your variance. If you put 10 plus EV mathematically profitable sharp sports bets down in a day, you could easily go two and eight, wouldn't even be surprised. But if you're putting 50 bets down in a day, and you're scaling back your units and the amount that you're putting on, but you're diversifying and you're placing more bets, that's when you can remove that variance, the day-to-day -day swings when you have more volume down. And then again, when you have more volume, that usually means you're putting more money down and the more money you're getting down means the more money you're making, right? Because we have an ROI. We have a 2%, 5%, 20% ROI, depending on the month, depending on the edge that we have that month. I've had months where I'm at you know, 40% ROI. This last month, I'm at like a 3% because the edges just aren't quite as large. However, still profitable, but that 3%, if we can get, instead of $1,000 down, we get $10,000 down. Well, that 3% turns from, you know, 30, 30 bucks in profit to 300. So more volume, more bets, reduces variance, and it also means more money down, which means more profits. Step number eight is understand and get an idea of what sports books are sharp, right? What sports books are accurate? What sports books can we look at as, as truth in this industry so that we can see where we're getting a discrepancy or a better line, better odds, more of a payout elsewhere, right? So for instance, on you know soccer and tennis and main lines and money lines on, on hockey and even basketball, these like totals and, and, and money line and, and, and spreads, all of that, Pinnacle and Bookmaker are really good sources of truth there because they're very accurate to, to what uh, the closing line, you know, they're beating the closing line value often. They're, they're, uh, they have tons of action coming out on their platforms and they've been historically very accurate with their odds, right? So that means that we can use Pinnacle as, as a way to, to understand, okay, so this specific bet should be getting priced at, you know, let's say minus 135, right? Or, or whatever it might be. But then we see, oh, well on Bet Rivers, we're getting it at plus 110. Okay, wow, so that's, we're getting paid way more than Pinnacle's offering, and so that means that it's a good bet. In this specific instance, player props, it's questionable if Pinnacle is the best for that. However, with money line, main line spread totals, Pinnacle and Bookmaker are usually quite good. Also Circa is known as quite good. There's varying opinions on this in the industry, but in general, Pinnacle's the one to look at. And then for player props, I mean, DraftKings, even FanDuel has been known to be very sharp lately. So these two books are, are usually quite a good source of truth uh, in the industry, right? And so that means that when you look at, you know, MGM or Caesars, sometimes, um, they, they, they might be sharp as well, but if you're seeing a large discrepancy between, you know, let's say a small book like Bet Rivers compared to DraftKings, right? We see DraftKings at minus 115 here and, and Bet Rivers is at plus 110. Well, clearly getting value on Bet Rivers because we're assuming that DraftKings is sharp. So at the end of the day, you want to understand what books are sharp and, and then, you can, then you can understand where you're getting value elsewhere. Step number nine, utilize software to find more opportunities and, and, and find more edges in this market so you can become a better sharp sports better. All sharp sports betters are using software, right? They're not looking individually from platform to platform. They're using stuff like Odds Jam here where they can, they can see the, the entire market of a given bet and understand where they're getting their value, right? And so this software, specifically Odds Jam here, I mean, they have all sorts of tools to find opportunities where you can make some good money just by using this software, right? Like this arbitrage tool here where you can take both sides of a bet, but you actually win money regardless because of the odds, right? 
for instance, this one here, you're being paid the plus number, you're being paid more than the minus number. So if you if you bet on both sides, you're gonna actually win money. There's, there's much more to it, but at the end of the day, that's what software can do for you, can find you these opportunities. Say, I mean, even just simply being able to look at, at the odds on a sports book screen, right? Looking at the odds and seeing the movement between different books and then the movement of odds, utilizing software is just incredibly useful, specifically for sharp sports betting. And finally, step number 10, Specifically, if you're trying to become a sharp sports better and you're not there yet, learn and grow with a community. On Twitter, there's tons of great sharp plus EV sports betters like myself who give away information for free, make these YouTube videos. You can learn from stuff like this. You can be on Twitter, follow 50 to 100 sharp sports betters and learn from them day in and day out for free, right? It's completely free. Join that community and become a part of the conversation and how the industry moves because it changes over time, right? And then also, if you want to get access to, you know, bets 24 seven, every single day, you're getting sent bets that are profitable, join these paid communities, these paid discords. I have one myself called Juiced VIP, but there's tons out there. Do your research. There's tons of them have free trials. I have a free trial for three days. This link down below. You can test it out, join the discord, see what it's all about. There's tons of other ones as well. And, and yeah, understanding what other people are doing and becoming part of that is the best way to become a sharp sports better because you learn as you go and, and, and you start making money betting on sports. All right, that was a long video. Hopefully you guys stuck all the way to the end and you got all 10 steps in. Let me know what you think down below. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and we'll see you guys tomorrow.